After integrating the 250 km range rampage missile on the Su-30, work is underway to integrate the rampage missile into the MiG-29 UPG, that will be followed by Tejas Mark 1A unraffle aircraft. The United States government has warned Indian companies from supplying Russia with chemicals, aeronautic parts and components, that could potentially find their way into Russian missile systems and other defense equipment. The DRDO is developing a robotic mule codenamed Project Star, which is expected to be completed in three years. Goa-based Hughes Precision has started exporting its small arms ammunition to several NATO and African countries. Belmini has secured a substantial grant from the Ministry of Defense, to revolutionize secure wireless communication for the Indian Navy using light fidelity technology. Prime Minister Modi is scheduled to visit Ukraine on 23rd August, during which the two sides will explore to establish a joint venture to manufacture marine gas turbine engines in India. Indian Navy's stealth frigate INS Satpura has completed 12 glorious years of service to the country. Following talks between Prime Minister Modi and his Malaysian counterpart, India and Malaysia have decided to elevate their ties to the level of comprehensive strategic partnership. Hindustan Aeronautics Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter will be facing a stiff competition from Airbus H-145M multipurpose helicopter in the Argentine Army's upcoming utility helicopter acquisition program. Pakistan has conducted successful training launch of its 2000 km range Shaheen 2 surface to surface ballistic missile to evaluate performance of different subsystems incorporated for improved accuracy and enhanced survivability. Bharat Electronics Limited has signed a strategic memorandum of understanding with the Indian Navy to develop advanced marine applications for defense. French engine manufacturer Safran has proposed to use a Rafale fighter jet as a flying testbed for the proposed new engine for AMCA program. The plan involves equipping a Rafale with one of its standard M88 engine, and a high thrust engine designed for the AMCA. By testing the AMCA engine on the Rafale airframe, Safran aims to validate its performance and capabilities in a real-world environment. If the new engine proves successful in the Rafale, India would also have the option to upgrade its existing fleet of Rafale fighters with more advanced engines in the future, that would significantly enhance the capabilities of the Rafale aircraft. Dassault Maintenance and Repair Organization India is set to significantly bolster the Indian Air Force with the establishment of a new maintenance hub in UP, and this state-of-the-art facility will specialize in servicing the Mirage 2000 and Rafale fighter jets, thus promising faster turnaround times and cost efficiency. The facility will include the manufacturing of spare parts for Mirage 2000 and Rafale fighters in later phase, and it also has the potential to emerge as a regional maintenance hub for other countries operating Mirage 2000 and Rafale aircraft, such as Greece, Egypt and Qatar. India has proposed a modified version of its Neil Geary class frigate to the Brazilian Navy, and reports indicate that Mazagin Dock Limited has reportedly offered transfer of technology to Brazil, enabling it to locally manufacture these advanced stealth frigates. While the Brazilian Navy is considering to procure between four to six new frigates, but the primary motivation behind this acquisition appears to be integrating the BrahMos cruise missile. The Director General for Electronics and Communication Systems at the RDO has said, that one of the intriguing aspects of Super Shukhoi's Virupaksa radar is the inclusion of an antenna repositioner, which is a mechanical device that will enable the antenna to be pointed in both elevation and azimuth planes, significantly expanding its field of view, and making it more agile, versatile and capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously. Today's top 3 comments 